I'm gonna try not to cry. There's just pictures of my um my best friend on my wall. She's just so beautiful and I just can't see how anyone could think that just because of someone's skin color, you know, you hate them. Okay. Hey guys, it's Simi and welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen me before, I am 18 years old. I'm from Miami, Florida to be specific. I am half black, half white. I know it doesn't look like it. I know I look quite Dominican, but I am. Trust me, there will be more videos coming soon about similar topics. If you didn't already know, our country is in the midst of a civil war. There are riots across the country. People are killing each other. And most importantly, people are going unpunished. For years, the black community has faced prejudice and racism. Systemic racism has allowed for the country to see black people as dangerous human beings, to see them as a threat and as degenerate. People have been attacked, lynched, killed, murdered, raped, and wrongfully sentenced at the hands of a white person. It has not lessened. It's been this bad for years. Police brutality is number six in leading causes of death in the U.S. Throughout the years, we have rallied behind each other in support of the black community um, through the organization Black Lives Matter. Trayvon Martin, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd are just a few of the names on the long list of people who are victims of police brutality. And it's men and women alike, children, all have one thing in common. They're all black. Systemic racism is another word for institutional racism. It is a form of racism expressed in the practice of social and political institutions. It is reflected in disparities regarding wealth, income, criminal justice, employment, housing, healthcare, political power, and education, among other factors. It was first used by Stokely Carmichael, in the Charles versus Hamilton in Black Power, The Politics of Liberation, which is a book. He said, while individual racism is often identifiable because of its overt nature, institutional racism is less perceptible because of its less overt, far more subtle nature. In recent years, with the creation of the television and social media, it has become very notorious and widespread. Black Lives Matter is an international human rights movement originating in the African American community. They campaign against violence and systemic racism towards black. It was formed six years ago in 2013, I believe following Trayvon Martin, amongst many others, founded by Alicia Garcia, Patrice Coulors, and Opal Tometi. After the acquittal of George Zimmerman in the shooting death of an African-American teen, Trayvon Martin, the movement became nationally recognized for street demonstrations following the 2014 deaths of two African-Americans, Michael Brown and Eric Garner in New York City. These people were murdered by police officers the same people that were supposed to protect them judge them because of the color of their skin our skin is not an armor it cannot protect us from bullets and it definitely can't protect us from our own country growing up i lived in very poor low-income housing i lived in liberty city which is next to mlk park this portion of miami is rarely talked about other than the poke and beans, which is also referred to as the pork and beans. Yes, I would go to sleep hearing gunshots. Yes, I would be afraid not to see my neighbor the next day. I was more afraid for my brothers. I have two half siblings. Both are mixed with darker skin than mine. I have two stepbrothers with dark brown chocolate skin. I have witnessed them being taught to know what to do in a situation when a police officer stops them on many occasions. The fact that African Americans have to teach their kids what to do when they get stopped by a police officer for doing nothing wrong. To always put your hands on the wheel, to always listen and follow every direction to the T, not give attitude. I witnessed firsthand on many occasions how the system wrongs African Americans in so many ways. If you do not accept that there is something wrong with our system, you are part of the problem. 
and I'm not blaming everybody. There are so many good cops out there. There's so many people that actually do their job and protect others. But the Bad Batch, it doesn't make it any easier for us. It liberates others, other white people, to use their white privilege as an advantage. A black man should not have to fear me because I look like a white woman. My brothers should not have to fear for their lives in their own country. This time has brought me so much anxiety and depression and anger that it is inexplicable. In the case of George Floyd, a knee was placed on his neck for almost nine minutes until he died. The medical examiner then lied and said that he died of asphyxiation. The definition will be on the screen. The four police officers that were involved, including the one that committed the murder, they were at first tried for third degree murder and um, suspended. And then when video footage um, you know, came out and stuff like that and the family of George Floyd began to look into this like every African American family seems to have to do in order to get real answers. The truth came out and it came out to be very ugly. Now they are being tried for second, for second degree murder but from what I um, understand second degree murder is killing someone with intent third degree murder is killing someone on accident and first degree murder is premeditated murder i'm not gonna cry this is an educational video for those that do not know the basics of a movement that maybe they want to support and here's me supporting it in this comment section all i'm asking you is to comment um, in regards to the Black Lives Matter movement or the civil war that is going on right now in our country. So I want to let you guys know the facts. I have been doing massive amounts of research. I will continue to do more research. I need to put my voice out there for both races. Um, we need to educate each other. I love all of you beautiful black people. I love all you beautiful white people and everybody in between. If you like me and you want to see more of me and more of the content coming up, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit 200 subscribers this month. All of my social medias will be on the screen right now and also down in the description below. Yeah, make sure you like this video and share it with your friends. The moment that it stops becoming the most important thing to you is the moment where the movement is lost. We keep it alive until we get justice. Well guys, that is all I have for you today. I will see you in another video. Bye.